My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. <laughs> we shall be looking at the various laboratory apparatus and their uses. Various apparatus used in the lab and what they are used for exactly. Really. Because you will be asked, what is the role of a film cupboard? Then you will be wondering, which topic is this jam? From? So the first apparatus is the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner is used for heating and for exposing items to flames. Then we have the burette. The burette is used in acid-based titration to measure the volume of acid. Kipps apparatus is used for preparation of gases which are needed intermittently. For example, we use Kipps apparatus to prepare hydrogen sulfide, H2S. We use Kipps apparatus to prepare carbon dioxide, and we use Kipps apparatus to prepare hydrogen gas. Film cupboard is the chamber for producing poisonous gases in the lab. So to produce poisonous gases in the lab, we use the film cupboard. Meanwhile, spatula is used for carrying small amount of solids from one point to another. You fetch, you carry like this, you drop. That is the role of spatula. Hoofman's voltameter is used in electrolysis of water to produce hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, H2 and O2. Calorimeters are used for measuring enthalpy change, that is, heat change of chemical reactions, while desiccators are used for drying various substances. Pipette or pipette is used for measuring a fixed volume of base in acid-base reaction. This carries the base. And we have trapping reagents. In the lab, trapping reagents are used to trap various substances. For example, to remove oxygen from air or to trap oxygen from air, we use the alkaline pyrogallo or heated copper. These are the trapping reagents for uh, oxygen. The other caustic soda. NaOH is referred to as caustic soda. That is the common name. Sodium hydroxide is caustic soda. Why potassium hydroxide? You can call that caustic potash. Caustic soda or caustic potash are used to trap carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide from gaseous mixtures. Now, heated copper or alkaline pyrogallo is used to trap oxygen from gaseous mixture. Quick lime. Calcium oxide is referred to as quick lime. That is the common name. Quick lime, tetra acid H2SO4, calcium chloride CaCl2 are used to trap water vapor, water in gaseous state. That is what they are used to trap. Then, acidified copper 2 tetra is used to trap phosphine or pH 3. Crucibles are used for Heating small amount of substances at very very high temperature. Why wire gates are used to spread the heat that are being produced so that they become uh, uniform. Wash bottle is used for dispensing small amount of distilled water. Beaker is a liquid measuring instrument. You pour liquid in it, you measure the quantity. Lebis condenser is used to cool down hot vapor or liquids. Meanwhile, the droppers are used to drop uh, substances little by little, liquids, especially in your acid base creation. So, to drop the liquid in the indicator, and the color of the indicator will determine what the substance wow. is. Various names used in acid base titration. Remember, we agreed that according to Arrhenius, acid are substances which, when dissolved in water, Produce hydrogen ions as the only positive ion. Why arrhenius bases are substances which, when you dissolve in water, they produce hydrogen ion as the only negative ion or as a negative ion. We are able to realize that when acids react with bases, they form salt and water, and the process is referred to as 
neutralization. We are also look, uh, able to look at the various indi indicators used in acid base oh. In the laboratory, we use titration. Titration to carry out acid base reaction or to carry out neutralization. And in that case, for Waek, Neko, you will be asked to calculate concentration of solution. Percentage purity, molar mass, number or percentage water of crystallization, and solubility product of substance. All these can be gotten via titration. I say, what yeah. indicator is suitable when a strong acid reacts with a strong base? This is a jam question. What do you say? Or you are asked, a solution whose concentration is known is referred to as dash. For that reason, we shall be looking at the various terms used in acid-based titration, the indicators used, and um, I've highlighted the uses of titration. The first there is standard solution. A standard solution is a solution whose concentration is known. If you are given a solution and the concentration of that solution, either in moles per dm cube or in grams per dm cube, Provided the concentration is known, then that solution is a standard solution. A molar solution of any substance is one which contains one mole or one molar mass per dm cube. So if a solution contains one mole per dm cube or one molar mass, per dm cube, then that is referred to as a molar solution. Then we ask you, a molar solution of a substance is dash. It is simply a solution which contains one mole or one molar mass of that substance in one dm cube of a solution. That is molar solution. And in titration, end point refers to the end of reaction, your result after carrying out reaction. After adding um, reacting acids and bases together to form salt and water, that neutralized solution is referred to as your end point. The final reading on the red in acid based reaction is referred to as dash. That is simply referred to as end point. As you carry out titration, immediately you notice a change in the color of the indicator. Notice or know that you've read the end point. As such, you can begin to calculate the volume of acid used, the volume of base used, and you can do any of these calculations at end point. Concentration is the number of moles of a substance or grams per 1 dm cube or 1000 cm cube. So concentration is simply number of moles per dm cube or grams per dm cube. If you are given a particular substance, the concentration will simply be the number of moles of that substance in one dm cube of a solution, or the number of moles in 1000 cm cube of a solution. One dm cube is 1000 cm cube. How many moles of that substance is contained in 1000 cm cube of a solution? Concentration can be expressed in moles per dm cube and in grams per dm cube. Concentration can be expressed in two ways, molar concentration and mass concentration. Molar concentration is usually in moles per dm cube or in capital M. If I say 2m, it simply refers to as 2 moles per dm cube. And molar concentration is refers to as molarity. Then we have the mass concentration. Mass concentration is simply concentration in grams per dm cube. The relationship between mass concentration and molar concentration is that molar concentration is equals mass concentration divided by molar mass. By the time you divide mass concentration by molar mass, you get molar concentration. In other words, to convert mass concentration to molar concentration or to molarity, you divide it by the molar mass. And to convert molar concentration 
to mass concentration, you simply multiply by molar mass. This is the relationship between mass concentration and molar concentration. Titration is obviously the process of carrying out acid-base reactions, trying to meet acid and base so that they neutralize to form salt and water or to get to the end point. Y indicators are dyes which change color depending on the medium that they are in. In titration, if you are titrating strong acid and strong base, any indicator will do. You can use methyl orange, phenotaline, methyl red, any one will do. But when it comes to strong acid versus weak base, you use methyl orange. That is suitable indicator for strong acid and weak base. Meanwhile, for weak acid and strong base, a suitable indicator will be phenotaline. And for weak acid and weak base, there is no suitable indicator. Thanks for watching. You are one and only teacher from the future. I hope you found this class interesting. Feel free to check out the playlist for more amazing, amazing videos. And don't fail to install the Flash Learners application right now for notes, videos, and questions to meet all your needs. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my sweet videos. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to tell everyone around about the Flash Learners. Bye.